Strategy can be quite an important and complex game. Now, consulting companies, they make millions and billions with strategy consulting. For your startup, I believe it does not have to be so complicated. So watch this video until the end so that I can give you a very simple framework to build your strategy. Hey, my name is Armin L. Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur, and I'd like to help you to become a great leader. In these videos, I share my 25 years of experience as a leader, coach, manager, and entrepreneur with late stage entrepreneurs who now have to change from founders to managers and leaders. If you don't want to miss any of my content, feel free to click on the subscribe button, the red subscribe button underneath this video. And don't forget to switch on the bell so that you're always informed about new content. This video is about the basic framework of strategy. I have actually created a very basic uh, framework of strategy when you're starting off your business and that's very important. It can also be used as a litmus test on how your business will fly or if it will fly. How good is actually this story? Strategy is actually also about telling a story and it has five pillars and I call these five pillars, you know, uh, the strategy diamond. Now, pillar number one is the problem. Describe the real problem that exists in the market. Is there a problem? Many, you know, solutions are looking for a problem and there isn't any. Many entrepreneurs are actually enamored with their approach and their product and they think they have found a problem which actually isn't a problem. So start with the problem. What is the problem in the market? Is in the B2B area is, for example, somebody um, losing too much money? Is something not going fast enough? Can you, is there, can you, can you produce better quality? In the B2C area, is there a lack of convenience or again of speed for consumers? And can you actually solve that problem? You know, uh, you have to, you have to understand the problem and you have to try to find out by asking the people that you want to serve what their problem is. As I said before, don't ask them what their problem is, but ask them more indirectly what biggest challenge they have when doing this, that, and the other. Pillar number two then of your strategy is to describe your solution to that problem. That can be a product, it can be a solution, which is a, an adapted product, which is, you know, a, a product that is adapted. It can be a service, it can be an individual product, like for example, a custom-made house and um, that is what you have to describe what is the solution to that problem and why does it solve the problem pillar number three is measurable results value no solution is a good solution if it does not produce value so describe your so-called value proposition i have done a separate video on that so you will find it in the playlist I think vision and strategy, yes, in the playlist vision and strategy you will find it, so if you're interested. And um, the value is very important, it must be measurable in terms of time, cost and quality. And it must really bring, you know, some progress, you know, to your client. Produ results must be produced, as I said, and they must be measurable. Value proposition actually has three parts. First of all, you describe the features of your solution, then you describe the advantages, and then the value. Pillar number four, proof of concept. So before you can have the greatest success in the market, you need a proof of concept. You need somebody who trusts you, somebody who is maybe a visionary, somebody who is um, in the technical area a techie who likes it when things break down so that he can repair them himself. So look for somebody who is willing to use your product first so that, if, that you've got a proof of concept so that you can say to your customers that it works. And that's very important also to, as a litmus test for your strategy. Yeah? Because if um, the product works in this proof of concept you know that it can also work for others. And pillar number five of the strategy diamond is trend. Now, if you 
are part of a trend with this solution. Let's for example say Internet of Things, uh, climate change, electrical mobility, uh, what else do we have? Uh, data, 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 you know, data pools, data lake, data analysis. That is very, very helpful uh, for your strategy and for the success of your strategy, you know, to be part of one of these trends. But even if you're not part of the trend, you can be actually very, very successful with your strategy. Just to give you one example, I'm invested in a company that produces uh, natural fruit juices and uh, vegan yogurts. And this company is very, very successful in a very established market. Again, created a new category, vegan and so on, uh, with a lot of in innovation power, yogurts based on cashew nuts, yogurts based on coconut milk. Actually, the first in the market created that category and there was no real trend. Well, there was the trend of, you know, yes, um, having, uh, you know, um, having better nutrition and so on. Yes, there was the health and fitness trend uh, then. On the other hand, it was a very established industry and coming up with something innovative in this industry following the uh, strategy diamond turned out to be very, very successful. So try the strategy diamond for your business. Even, you know, you're now established and um, if you are established and you are now looking for the next growth step, test your strategy with the strategy diamond and see if that works and what uh, you know you learned from this. Please leave your comments underneath this video. So I'm actively taking part in the conversation. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. This was Armin L. Rao from A. Leonard Rao, The Entrepreneur's Entrepreneur. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to share the video so that many more entrepreneurs can learn from the insights on this channel. I was happy to have you. See you soon. That was Armin L. Rao and don't forget, lead yourself.